Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by the term carbon footprint. You should then be able to describe ways to reduce emissions of carbon dioxide and methane. We've already seen that carbon dioxide and methane are both greenhouse gases. Human activities are causing these to be released and that's leading to climate change. Now the carbon footprint tries to give us an idea of how much something contributes to climate change. I'm showing you the definition of the carbon footprint here and it's really worth learning this. The carbon footprint is the total amount of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases emitted over the full life cycle of a product, a service or an event. Now there are lots of ways that we can reduce our carbon footprint. We're going to start by looking at how we can reduce our carbon dioxide emissions. A lot of energy is used to heat our homes, and this often comes from burning fossil fuels. By insulating our homes or turning down the heating, we can reduce carbon dioxide emissions. A great deal of carbon dioxide is released by driving cars, and we can reduce this by using public transport, such as buses and trains. These release less carbon dioxide per passenger. And finally, a lot of carbon dioxide is produced by generating electricity by burning fossil fuels. We can reduce that by switching to renewable sources of electricity, for example wind power. On a personal level, we can reduce how much electricity we use at home. For example, we can switch to energy saving light bulbs. We can also turn appliances off at the plug rather than leaving them on standby. Now, there are some problems with these. Firstly, most of these solutions are expensive and people are reluctant to pay. Secondly, in some cases, they're inconvenient. For example, many people prefer the convenience of driving over public transport. Now, as well as carbon dioxide, we also need to reduce emissions of methane, and one of the biggest sources of methane is agriculture. As we saw in a previous video, grazing cattle, such as cows, release methane when they pass wind. One way to reduce that is for people to eat less beef and less dairy products. The problem is that people enjoy eating these and are unlikely to change their diets. Another source of methane are landfills such as this one. We can reduce this by trapping the methane and burning it to produce electricity. That's a good idea because methane is a much more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. However, trapping and burning methane costs money. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on the carbon footprint in my Eurovision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. 